What's up, Wayne Barron here with Architect Studios, and we are inside of the new Windows 10 Creative Studio or Creative Update. I like to call it the Creative Studio because that's what it's supposed to be. So what we're going to do is that we're going to set up our system the way that I like to work with. And the first thing that I like to do is I like to hide this taskbar. So let's right click on it, choose Taskbar Settings. I'm going to choose Off. Click the X button and now the taskbar will only show whenever your cursor runs over it. So the next thing we want to do is we want to come over here. Let's go ahead and open up our folder. And we're going to do a lot of settings inside of our main folder here. So we're going to come inside of our C drive. We're going to go inside of Users. We first need to make it to where we can actually see everything. Okay, to access the control panel, we're going to right click on our start menu. We're going to come over here to System. Then scroll down here. We're going to choose System Info and then click on Control Panel Home. We're going to make this to where it shows the large icons. And then we're going to choose File Explorer Options. Click on View. And then choose Show Hidden Files and Folders. And then um, Hide Protected Systems. Choose Yes. And Hide Extensions of Known Files. That's why you can actually see if it's a zip, a rare, a JPEG, a PNG, EXE, or whatever it is. Close all that. And now you can see that we can see more information. We're going to come inside of this folder right here. And then we're going to actually relocate all of this stuff over to our profile drive right here. So we're going to simply just right click on contacts, come down here to properties, choose location, and then we're going to change it. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Right click, open a new window, and then profile. And then this right here is where we want to go with everything. So we're going to come over here, we're going to choose profile, click apply, choose yes, choose replace. Choose OK. Now we're going to do this to every single one of these folders except for the app data. Right click on desktop, location, apply, yes, replace. And I do it to the rest of them. Okay, so now what we have actually done here is that our everything is located over here in this area so that now whenever we have to reinstall our system like what i just had to do today nothing is lost i don't have to back up anything because everything is backed up here you can come inside of your app data you can do your roaming you can actually uh, take your roaming and you can move your roaming over to the app data over here and you can move your local load the local will not move so you can do roaming and so just make sure that there's, I mean, a lot of your settings is in here. So what you would do is that you would right click, choose properties, location, and then simply just replace it like that. And then click apply, yes, and then replace with destination. Click OK, and then do the same thing with local load. And now whenever you install all of your programs, uh, your FileZilla, your uh, Grammarly, your Handbrake, uh, whatever is installed on here, Autodesk, Avast software, and so forth, and even your Adobe settings is going to remain the same as what they were before. Like I said, the only thing that you cannot move is your local. This right here has to stay within this area right here. So next, the next thing that we want to do is that, uh, let's go ahead and, is that I like to have all of my uh, drives accessible for whenever I want to right click here and access them. So what we're going to do is going to right click here and we're going to choose pin to quick access. We're going to do this to each and every one of these. Okay, so now we just right click here and we can access all of these B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. The next thing that I want to do is come over here to my profile inside of here and then let's go inside of toolbars. Inside my toolbars is everything that I want to have quick access to. And we're going to right click here, toolbars, and choose new toolbar. And then we're going to simply come over here to our B drive, our profile, come inside of toolbars, we're going to choose apps. Select this one, right click toolbars new toolbar and then we're going to choose our codes select that one okay so this right here has access to all of the stuff that i need to access whenever i need to access them and uh, my connections these are all of my google chrome profiles and then links that i have to do to different items 
and this way I can just come over here and then I can actually uh, remove all of this stuff like that I don't want so I just come over here remove that that all right so now everything is nice and neat that's the only thing the only things that I want in here and then everything else is accessible through here I no longer add anything here I have everything loaded right here in these toolbars so this is an easy way to keep everything organized and maintained so that you don't have to worry about losing it just in case you ever have to reinstall your system and one other thing that i like to do is i like to have a clean desktop so we're going to right click view and then we're going to choose show desktop icons and now we don't see none of our desktop icons all right i am wayne Barron for dark effect studios y'all have a good one now bye bye